No matter what time of year you like to travel, having a reliable puppy jacket is a must. Today I am reviewing six of Amazon's moderately priced puppy jackets so you don't have to, and I'm going to be rating them on quality, fit, packability, and style. Let's go. You guys asked for it and here it is, a packable puppy jacket review. I did choose some jackets based on suggestions from you guys and then I filled in with other jackets that I thought might be interesting to try out too. None of these jackets are over a hundred dollars and I did get most of them in red because I am looking for a red puppy jacket. I don't know, I'm getting I've gotten really tired of all of the black jackets that I have in my closet, so I'm kind of switching it up these days. There is one that did not come in a red, so I did get that in blue, and you'll see that a little bit later on. I thought I would start with the jackets from the least expensive and move on to the most expensive, and I have left them all in their packaging. I have not tried any of these on yet, so you're gonna get this in real time. I'm gonna show you how they came to me, how they were packaged, and then we will go through what I think of them as I try them on. So first up, we have the Amazon Essentials jacket, and this one was in the 30-ish dollar range. I'm not gonna give you exact prices because they change their prices all the time. Most of these are all water resistant. I think there is one jacket that is not water resistant, and I didn't know that at the time I ordered it, so I apologize because I really wanted all of these to be water resistant puppy jackets. When we get to that one, I will let you know as well. But let's start with the Amazon Essentials. This is how it came packaged. And let's see, how are we gonna get into it? I probably should have grabbed some scissors before I came up here. It was nice and lightweight. I mean, I'm pretty sure all of these will be lightweight. I also chose to wear a cashmere sweater today. I didn't want anything super thin to try these on because I want to make sure how they fit through the shoulders. You know, I, I I see you broad shoulder girls out there. I had a few of you comment that you you are like me, but I also didn't want something super bulky either. So this is our Amazon Essentials. It does not have a hood. It is all nylon. It does have, it does have its own bag. Zipper seems to work really well. And I did get all of these in mediums. I don't think, no, I'm, I'm positive I got all of them in medium because that was the size that the Amazon AI suggested that I should get based on everybody else's fit. So I have a feeling I'm gonna be a sweaty mess by the end of this. I did turn off my heat because my furnace runs so loud and I didn't want it running in the background. Okay, well, it's pretty comfy, it's not, it's not too tight across the back. It's a little snug. If I had something really thick on under here, it would definitely be fairly, fairly tight. But to just wear it, ooh, I don't know, I have a fruit fly flying around in here. So if you see me do this, that's why I'm not having a attack of anything. I like the length of it. I like how it comes down right here. And I mean, it's puffy. <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't come in a lot right here at the waist, which I tend to like. You know, it'd be nice to have something that wasn't super straight, but overall, I mean, for a puppy, it's pretty cute. And like I said, it's only 30 some odd dollars for the price point. It's water resistant. It's comfortable. It's, um, it's very warm. <laughs> the sleeves fit really well. I don't know if you can see, they don't, you know, they don't come down too long, but they also aren't like too short either. And, uh, the only, the only issue I have is that it is, it is. It's not super snug through the shoulders, but like I said, if I were wearing anything bulkier, it would be a little snug. You couldn't wear, I could not wear a sweatshirt, hoodie sweatshirt underneath this and uh, feel comfortable. And the style is, I mean, it's pretty pedestrian puppy jacket style, but you know, if that's what you're looking for, this is a great jacket for the price point. That's, that's what I'm going to say. So quality, I would say the zippers are really nice. The stitching around the cuffs is really nice. The stitching on the puff part is good. Style, I mean, it's not super stylish. It's just kind of plain and boring. The fit is probably, you know, medium again because of that, you know, shoulder issue. And packability. Okay, so let's see how this does pack up in its own little bag. 
I feel like they should give you instructions when they give you a packable jacket as to how is the best way to like actually pack these in. They're little things. Uh. But I don't know if any of you guys have like a packable uh, stuff bag for your sleeping bags, but this is kind of how I do that. So I'm going to do that with the puffle, puffy jacket. <laughs> I'm packing the puppy jacket like I do my sleeping bag. Maybe. All right, so, so far, packability is not fantastic because I, I am not sure. Ooh, that was a workout. I am going to say that. Uh, Packability on this is uh, not so hot. <laughs> it, uh, well, we'll see how the other ones pack up, but whew, that was a workout. If that's something that you need to do often and quickly, this is not the jacket for you. Uh, you'd be better off using one of the like trip travel, smaller compression bag cubes and just packing it in one of those and, and squeezing all the air out. Everything's so slippery on this, it was really hard to get it in. Rating for the packability, eh. It's going to be on the low side. And next up, we have the Outdoor Ventures jacket. And this is one that was suggested by one of you guys. So thank you for that suggestion. And this is how this came packaged up. So nice, nice and compact in a box. Let's figure out. Let's see. This one is in the 50 ish dollar range. Most of them are going to be in the 50, 60. And then we have one that kind of jumps up a little bit from there. This one does have a hood. And it does have the, you know, the pull thing so you can tighten the hood around your head, which I really like. It is thinner than the Amazon one was. And it looks like it has a little more shape to it. Here is its packable bag. <laughs> it's very roomy in the arms so far. Much, much roomier than the Amazon one was. Roomy enough that I'm not, not sure if I like how roomy it is in the, in the arms. We'll see when it gets to the shoulders. Zipper works really well. It's uh, it's very roomy. It's definitely, oh, that's not an attractive place for that to hang, is it? We'll just stick this in here for now. That's gonna require glasses. I do like that all of the zippers zip down and not up, so it's a little easier to get in and out of the pockets. It is very roomy, very roomy. Lots, lots of space in the shoulders for sure but it's a little, it's a little bulky through here. <laughs> like style wise, it feels very puffy. It doesn't, it, it really doesn't give you much of a shape. It's very uh, utilitarian shaped, but very, I and mean, I could definitely have a hooded sweatshirt on underneath this and be totally comfortable. I love the color. I love that it's more of a brick red than like a bright orangey red. The arms have a lot a lot of space in them. The stitching is really, really nice. Like I said, the zipper works is super smooth and works really well. So the quality is really great. The material feels nice. Again, this is water resistant and it has the elastic around the bottom here so that it can keep like the wind from coming up or the water from coming up and getting on you, you know, underneath your jacket too, which is can be an issue sometimes if you're walking around in a storm. Style-wise, mm, yeah, I wouldn't give this too many marks on style-wise. Uh, quality, it gets really good marks. Fit is a little on the big side for me. Now, for some of you who like to wear things a little more oversized, this would probably be a great jacket for you. The fit through the shoulders is fantastic. I just wish it were a little more tailored fitted through here than than this. If you want something that's a little more on the fitted, actual fitted side, I would maybe size down a little bit in this jacket. Uh, but if you need something for your shoulders, this is a fantastic one. So let's see how this one packs into its packable little bag. Well, the bag is bigger than the Amazon Basics one was. It's got a bigger opening too. So this might be a little easier to pack away. Packability 
an A plus, way, way better than the Amazon one was. It is a little bit bigger and it's not quite as compressed as the Amazon one is, but it does work and it does pack down. Again, I would probably still put this in a compression cube um, just to get a little bit more of the air out of it as well. Okay, moving on, our next one is a TSLA jacket. And this is one that I picked out because I liked the style of it. So we'll see what we think of this. This is how this came. So it is packed pretty compact. It feels pretty thin. Let's see. Okay, and it has its own little bag. So yay, it's nice and thin. A big reason that I picked this one is because it has the, the curve right here along the waist. So I'm hoping that it looks a little more fitted, stylish uh, on than some of the other ones do. Good arm room. The zipper is a little stiffer than the other two zippers have been. This is also in that $55 range and they have the pockets that zip down. So that is nice. The shoulders, much like the Amazon one. And honestly, this is how most jackets fit me in the shoulders. So I'm not saying that jackets should be wider through the shoulders. I mean, for me, it would be nice, but this, uh, this pretty much fits me like most puffy jackets do through the shoulders, no matter what brand it is. Mountain Hardware, Columbia, you name it. I just, I have broad shoulders. It fits fine, right? I have on a, a cashmere sweater. It's If I had something on thinner, I'd have more room. If I had something on thicker, I'd probably, I would have less room. And again, probably couldn't wear a hooded sweatshirt under this and be super comfortable. But, but <laughs> I do like how it is fitted through here. That is something that I really, being so straight, I like having something that does give a little more figure forming <laughs> to, to the uh, jacket. And I also really like the diamond shaped, I don't know if you can see it, the diamond shaped puffer stitching on the jacket. It makes for something a little bit different than most puffer jackets. That is something that attracted me to this. And it is very thin. It's not super puffy, puffy. The quality, like I said, the zipper isn't quite as great as the other zippers were. It does not have an actual like elastic rim around the wrist. It's just elastic inside of the jacket. So it's not an actual wristband. The stitching looks pretty good on it. And I like the length. Again, it's a really good length on the jacket. I like you know, that it does have the tail comes down a little bit further. Sorry, I keep looking at the mirror to make sure I'm <laughs> telling you about what, because I can't see myself on the little screen for the camera. I mean, that's just impossible at this point in my life. I really, I really like this. It's a little dressier. I think that's one of the things I really like about this is it is a little bit dressier. So you don't feel like you're only can wear it for going out on a hike or something. And the color again is a really nice color red. It's not like a super orangey red. I really like that too. Although I don't know how many of y'all are going to be getting a red jacket as well, but this is, this is a really nice color. So quality, I'd say the quality is pretty good, especially for a 50 some odd dollar jacket. The fit for me is pretty good. It's, you know, it's, it is, about the same as most other puffy jackets I've ever had for through the chest area and through the shoulders. And there's, you know, like I said, there's room in the arms, but it's not too roomy in the arms, which I'm not a big fan of. I like the fit. If you did not want something fitted, this is definitely not the jacket for you. <laughs> Let's try the packability. Much like the last jacket, it packs in pretty easy. It has a, a nice size packable bag and the opening for the packable bag is pretty large. This does pack down a lot smaller than the, um, than the outdoor adventure one does. So that is something to think about. It is thin. Uh, well, they're both pretty thin and these are right about the same price point. So that is the TSLA jacket. Of the three I've tried so far, I would say this is so far the one I'm leaning towards. Next up is a jacket from a company that 
I probably haven't bought anything from since I was 20 years old. <laughs> and that would be Guess. I, I bet when I was looking at all the red jackets and this one popped up, I was like, oh, I don't know. Guess? I can't even believe that they're still around. But I really liked that it was shiny. <laughs> I know that probably shouldn't be something that attracted me to it, but it's a super shiny jacket. It does have like one of those inserts where it has the, the hooded jacket inside of it, which I, I don't think I really realized that when I ordered it. So we'll see. It does say it's a packable puppy jacket on the listing, but I don't know if it really is truly a packable puppy jacket. It's a little bit longer than the other one, but it's kind of pretty. What do you guys think? It's shiny. It's very, very shiny. Now, and this is the hood, the like hoodie jacket that hood that comes with it. So it's got that whole casual look. Oh, it does have its own packable bag. So it was not, uh, it was telling me the truth on the, on the listing. Even the bag is shiny. It's a little bit longer. I think I said that before. The arms are very roomy and the zipper does work. I mean, other than that, I just got it caught in the material the first time. I'm not a big fan of having like guests right up here around my face. It is definitely tight through here. <laughs> this is this is meant for a smaller framed person for sure. It um there is very little, very little give and it is very snug through the back. It's a bummer because it does otherwise, I mean it fits, it looks really cute. It fits nice. The zippers are, like I said, the on the pockets, they're a little tight. It's not as thin as the last one that I had on, so it is a little puffier. It doesn't have any elastic in the sleeve, so it's just kind of an open sleeve. So there's nothing to protect you from the elements going up into the sleeve there. It's very shiny. <laughs> I thought was kind of cool. The stitching, I mean, all of these, the stitching has been really nice. And the zippers, for the most part, have been pretty okay. Just way too snug through the chest and shoulders area. If I had anything else on, well, I don't even think I could have a thin shirt on and I think it would still be, you know, hard to move around. As my mom used to say, pull your shoulder, pull your arms forward, pull your arms back. How does it feel? This is a no for me on that sort of fit. However, if you are more slender up top and you are a more um, fine boned person that you know you have smaller shoulders this if this is something you like style wise this could be something that you might want to invest in i personally even though i love the shiny red and i do like the rest of the fit on it style wise i don't like i don't like the open sleeves on a puffy jacket that just seems pointless although it does make it easier for your gloves to go inside the jacket if that is a concern and the sleeves are a little long given that the shoulders in the it's so tight through the chest here style wise i like the shiny i don't like the hooded thing inside because if i wanted to wear this as a dressier jacket um i well let's see i'm not sure if the hood comes out let's see if it has no yeah Okay, you can take the hood out. So I'm taking that back. The hood, the hoodie part is uh, something that you can take out and not have to wear with the jacket. So, so that being said, I actually like the style of it pretty well. Like I, I like the red, I like the shiny. Um, I like the way that it fits through the waist and the hips and the length of it. But uh, yeah, the, the fit is not great. The quality is pretty good. And let's see how it packs down. It kind of came apart at the end getting it in here but and it too packs down really nice although this is almost as big as my sleeping bag stuff bag so you know it's not not terribly small packable puffy puffy jacket I mean, I think when I started this process, I was looking for something. Now, granted, if I wanted to pay $300 and get the Patagonia packable jacket, I mean, that's, that's my ideal. And maybe one day, one day I will have that. But for now, I'm just trying to make do with something that is affordable. This again would be another one I would put in a compression packing cube and it would probably pack a lot better. It's like carrying around a sleeping bag if you did it this way. It and the outdoor venture one, 
It's even larger than the Outdoor Adventure one. The next jacket is the only jacket that I got in a blue color because they did not have red. And it's another company that was suggested to me and it's the Want Do uh, Company jacket. Uh oh. It is the one jacket that said, did not have anywhere on there that it was water resistant. So I was gonna check on the label and see if the label says anything about it being water resistant. Because again, that's that's kind of important when you're wearing a puffy jacket and it's snowing or maybe a little misty, which can happen in a lot of places you travel in the fall and the winter. It says rain or shine, grab and go. Now this one does have down. The rest of them were all like polyester puffers or nylon puffers. And this does have like a, they call it the responsible down standard. So they have responsibly sourced down that they've used for the puffiness in the jacket. Again, I don't see anything that says it's water resistant. So I would be cautious wearing this out in, in too much of a moist setting. So you might want to have like a rain shell that you could put over it in order to wear it out. I do like this blue color. It is really pretty. And this one is more in the upper $70 range. So you're getting closer to like $80. And that's partially because it is down. Once you start looking at down jackets, your price goes up significantly. So if that's if that's something that you want, and there is, you know, down does keep you warmer. If this is a more mild winter weather jacket, then I don't know that down is necessarily what you need for those types of climates. So it did have its own, its own bag. It's a pretty small bag. So we're going to see how it fits in there when we get to that part. Again, very roomy arms. So it could easily wear a bigger sweater under here. Oh, good zipper. The arms feel a little, a little short. <laughs> and that's the, you know, maybe that's just because of the way I'm pulling. The shoulders, it's pretty roomy. Definitely way more room up through the chest area. Like I can move around. I could easily wear a thicker sweater or a sweatshirt under here. Um, and, you know, through the shoulders, it is actually, there's a little bit of, you know, tug there, but not much. It's again, another one that's definitely more puffy, straight looking, not much of a figure, you know, going on here. You're wearing it for the color. <laughs> I'd be wearing it for the color. I don't like that it kind of goes just straight across here and there's no like kind of lower part in the back. I really do. This feels like a, it almost feels like a ski jacket from the 1980s where you had the elastic on the bottom. And it does have the same elastic up here on the wrist part. It's it's a nice jacket and it is roomy, but it feels it's almost a little too too much through the middle for me. I'm not sure I really like that a whole lot. Uh, the color is great, and this the elastic at the bottom is good for, like I said, the inclement weather when you don't want like rain or snow or wind. And it is definitely a windproof jacket and you don't want that wind coming up <laughs> and get, getting your back because that that is not fun. It's a very, very casual puffer jacket. So it would be not a great puffer jacket if you wanted to wear this for a little dressier or not even dressy occasion, but just something that's a little more you know leveled up from that you're just going hiking in the woods. It feels really nice. I like the weight of it. It's a little too casual for me, style-wise. Now, fit, if it's great, quality is really, really good. I mean, everything looks, the stitching looks great. Even the seams on the wrist bands uh, joins up with the seams on the coat, so that's nicely done. The zipper seems really good. So let's see how it packs up. I think because it's down, it actually packs and folds a lot better. And this got in here super easy. And it's a very nice size packed bag. So much, much nicer size than this one. It packs down really well. And that is probably due to it being down stuffed instead of polyester stuffed because I think the polyester seems to poof up a lot easier and faster 
than the down does. This one is very similar in size to when you eventually get the Amazon Essentials packed up, which is the smallest so far, but took forever to get in there. Very similar in size. Our last jacket is by a company called Bella Vera. And this is one I think I found on my own search uh, again, looking for something a little more stylish, not so uh, hiking outdoorsy style. This one is a little on the pricier. Well, it's up towards $90 as opposed to the $50, $60 range. And well, you'll see in a second. <laughs> it has something that I would not wear with it and I would remove it, but it, that's how it came. And it was, but it was a red packable jacket. So let's see. It is one of the heaviest jackets of the ones I've tried on so far. I, yeah, the fur hood, not a fan. And uh, luckily that part comes off. We're gonna unbutton that and zip it off because I don't even think I can try it on with the hood, <laughs> the, the uh, fur hood on. Oh my gosh. Are any of you guys fur hood fans? I'm just, I, it's not my thing. I think I just don't like having all of that around my face. <clears throat> I've had jackets with fur hoods before and I tried to like them. This is not the best feeling fur hood anyway. It feels, looks and feels a little cheap. For $90, I, I would have expected, and maybe that's because it's been packed down and it needs time to fluff up. We're not gonna give it time to fluff up. <laughs> so now we have your normal red, puffy jacket and this like the the guest one has a little bit of shine to it um it's definitely an interesting an interesting color and feel to it even though it says that it's packable on the the description so far I have not found a packable holder for it so this one may not even really be a packable jacket it is pretty heavy the lining is coming out of the armhole when I put my arm in, so I'm not a big fan of that. It does have elastic around the bottom here, even though it's a nice, it's not like that thin plastic, it's a little bit thicker. Oh, wow, well, I can barely even, I can barely even move my arms, y'all. <laughs> it is like so, so tight through the shoulders. And look, when I, when I pull my arms out, look how much of my, look how much of my wrists are showing on this. Oh my gosh, yeah, this is this is a fail for sure. It's really puffy and I do I do like this little bit of elastic around the bottom of it here that holds it like, you know, if you were ski if you wanted to wear this as a ski jacket, you know, it's going to keep your butt from getting uh, too wet if you fall down a few times. I definitely would be falling down several times. Zippers are kind of tight. Like I said, the lining, well one in one pocket is more shallow than the other like they they sewed it too tight or something yeah the quality on this one is considering it this is the most expensive jacket out of all six jackets that i got i cannot believe that this is the poorest quality of all of the jackets this is definitely not getting uh any great ratings that's for sure style wise i was expecting it to be a little more fitted but it's like it's super roomy back in the back and kind of roomy in the front a little bit but again the arm stuff and the arm the actual arms themselves are are not roomy like you would not be able to wear like a hooded sweatshirt under this even if you had smaller shoulders i think you would have a challenge wearing anything thicker than a cashmere sweater under this well i guess our last one is a fail i can't believe we get to the last and most expensive jacket and it ends up just being no bueno. <laughs> That's why I do these try on review videos for you is to help you save some time and effort and maybe money by uh, giving you an idea of how these jackets fit. Now, if you are looking for more tips on how to pack for winter or what your winter essentials should be, check out this video next.